guys, so today we are cooking camels. Okay! Catfish stew, baby. Let's get it. Hot brother with camel, baby. Alrighty guys, we're cooking something real special today. As you heard already many times before, Pete Baggers for cancer. I'm gonna do it for you one more time, man. Okay! <laughs> Catfish too, baby. <laughs> yeah. So, these are the ingredients for the catfish stew. Now, I've had many, many catfish stews like this, but this is mine. So let me show you how I make my catfish stew, baby. First thing we got here, guys, this is all of the fillets from that humongous 15 pound catfish that I caught uh, about three weeks ago. So as you can see, he's licking water. Uh, he was frozen for a while, so definitely gonna be using him. Uh, you can also use catfish chunks or big fillet steaks like I have right here from a huge catfish. Other ingredients. Uh, let's see, our spices are gonna be lemon pepper. Garlic salt. I always get too close with the garlic salt. Right there. there it is. Y'all know what it is. And some Old Bay season. I love this stuff, man. Great stuff, man. So let's go to the dehydrated ingredients. Of course, you got some dehydrated potatoes. I got to get more, but that's what's going to go on today's ingredients. Uh, some dehydrated mushrooms. These are white mushrooms. Dehydrated onions. Dehydrated yellow and green jalapenos. Very good stuff, very spicy. Dehydrated corn, sweet corn, very nice. Dehydrated peas. Dehydrated this back in Arizona, just not cracking it open. And finally, Dehydrated lemons. These are fresh lemons from a lemon tree in Arizona. Right before I left Arizona to move here to Oklahoma, I grabbed them, sliced them, dehydrated them, and we're going to put a couple of these in there to kind of uh, get that fishy taste out of it and kind of give it some flavor, you know, with that lemon. So with the lemon pepper and the lemon here, this ought to be really good when this rehydrates. So. All right, guys. Other than that, you need a crock pot. So uh, let's get it. All right, guys, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our catfish and we are going to put the catfish in the crock pot. Man, this smells good. This is 15 pound catfish uh, steaks right here, guys. Really, really awesome. Still a little bit frozen. Still got a little bit of ice on them, but that's all right. It's, uh, Nothing like fresh catfish, guys. I'm telling you, I can see the ice still on the catfish. <laughs> it's all right, baby. That'll add to the water factor. We're going to have to put in this catfish later. Now, you're going to ask, okay, well, how much catfish are you putting in here? Uh, this is probably about a pound and a half of catfish steaks. Okay, so we got our catfish steaks in our crock pot here, and I want to add one more ingredient, guys. I completely forgot about this ingredient. It's a very important ingredient right here. Ragu, chunky tomato, garlic, and onion. This is spaghetti sauce. Great stuff. Uh, I also like the, the mushroom. Awesome. Of course, I love mushrooms, so that would be good for two. But you can get any flavor of ragu, chunky. Make sure that it's ragu chunky. That, that really kind of adds to the flavor of the catfish there. I'll make sure that this is in the recipe in the description below so that y'all guys will have all the uh, ingredients that y'all need. All right, guys. So what we want to do now is go ahead and add our dehydrated ingredients to our catfish right now. All right, so we'll go ahead and grab a palm of dehydrated peas. As you can see, that's about a palm. If I don't waste the peas all over the floor, I'll be sweeping this up later, of course. <laughs> Stay tuned for the after show effects of Camel sweeping up the foodie waste on the ground. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and put in the dehydrated corn, which is awesome, guys. This makes great trail food. 
good nice size portion handful there. And you just kind of spread it over your fish there. And we'll take some of those jalapenos. And you want to use, you just you want to make sure that it's spicy. So about a palm of it right there. Just kind of crush it up in your hand and then just kind of spread it over the catfish. Alright, then we'll do some dehydrated onions. About a palm of the dehydrated onions. Now the palm of dehydrated onions, it's a little difficult sometimes. Yeah, that's approximately what you want right there guys. And you just kind of, you don't crush it up, you just kind of spread it over the catfish. Now remember, it doesn't look like much when I'm putting it over there, but it will rehydrate to an amazing size, back to what it really was before it was dehydrated. So, especially when it's cooked in a crock pot for four plus hours. These are the remainder of my dehydrated mushrooms. This is, sorry, this is one palm of dehydrated mushrooms. And we're just gonna sprinkle that over the catfish there. Uh, let's see here, we got our potatoes. In our dehydrated potatoes. About a palm of dehydrated potatoes. It's about that's actually a really good palm. Now, also understand that these dehydrated potatoes, after being in the crock pot for four plus hours, will rehydrate back to their original size and taste just like potatoes. So that's an awesome thing, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and put in the lemon pepper here. garlic salt not too much garlic salt but to taste and like I said normally when I when I unless I have something stating how much actual seasoning to use any of my measurements for spices are to taste so it's what you believe is the proper amount for you to use and some obey seasoning I'm gonna make this catfish obey obey okay that joke's getting <laughs> Lots of Obey guys. I absolutely love this stuff. And finally, dehydrated item is your dehydrated lemons. Now, oh man, I almost don't want to open this because it's never been opened. Oh, that seal popped, baby. All right, so what we'll do is we'll put in, oh, let's say, we'll put in three, oh man. It, guys, I wish you could smell this. It is an amazing lemon smell in here. Amazing lemon smell. We'll go ahead and put three lemon slices. These are half lemon slices in here to kind of give a, a more of a strong lemon taste. And that lemon will rehydrate, guys. So Now, for the coup de gras, <laughs> you want to add your bottle of ragu chunky baby. So you're gonna open that guy up and just pour him over all that catfish. Ooh man, look at that. I'm gonna run some water through that. Uh, this is a uh, 45 ounce container of ragu. Now once you've actually added that, what you want to do is stir all that around. Okay, so we got that in there. We're going to go ahead and just pick up some of that catfish and just kind of melt it inside of the, mix up the catfish and the spices all together. Oh man. It's gonna be tasting good, guys. It's gonna be tasting good. It's very important that you mix it up, guys. Otherwise, you're just gonna have fish on the bottom, spices in the middle, and sauce on the top. I'm not saying you can't cook it that way, but I don't even know how that would taste, or how it would actually cook down for you. But you wanna, you wanna uh, basically stir these so that all the seasonings and dehydrated ingredients 
and catfish are all kind of mixed up together. And once you've done that, guys, it is pretty much ready to go. All right, guys, so one more thing you want to add to this is you want to add a cup of water. And that kind of helps thin out the sauce just a little bit so it's just not all sauce in there. Kind of helps make it a stew a little bit. Once you put that water in there, you're just going to one little final stir. You see that good old lemon right there coming up, that dehydrated lovely lemon. Okay. And uh, oh man, this smells amazing. This smells amazing, guys. Okay. Now that you've got all those ingredients in there, you want to go ahead and grab the top, slap it on there, and you want to turn this on high or anywhere from four to five hours. Uh, I have learned that when you're cooking fish in a crock pot, it does not need that full eight to 10 hours cooking. It doesn't hurt the fish, it just makes it really, really tender. But this fish is already tender because it's been frozen and then it's been dethawed and it's gonna be cooking in here. So uh, I got it on high now and we're gonna cook it for about four and a half to five hours, anywhere from four to five hours, and then it should be ready. So uh, we'll see you guys in about four to five hours. Alrighty guys, it has actually been four hours. My crock pot is actually a little bit faster for being an older crock pot and it only took about four hours to get it where it needs to be at. Here's a great tip guys, when you start smelling that spaghetti sauce and the flavors and everything and the, the spices and everything, that means you probably got about 30 minutes before that, that meal is done and ready. So it's actually done. So let's go ahead and take the top off and let that steam roll off there. Boy, look at that, guys. I wish somebody would hurry up and invent Smell-O-Vision because this is absolutely amazing, guys. This has already woken up my little buddy Acer's over there. But you can see that's the catfish. And it's just teeming in that spaghetti sauce and dehydrated vegetables and spices absolutely delicious guys let me do a quick taste test here one moment oh my god that tastes good oh my god that tastes good okay so let me go ahead and transfer this to a bowl and be right back with you Alrighty guys, so there we have it. These are three pieces of catfish steak fillets basically in here. And as you can see, the catfish is cooked very well, very flaky, and it is taking that color of the uh, tomato sauce and spices. And again, I wish I had smell-o-vision guys because I can show you guys how this smells. It smells absolutely amazing. And it looks even more amazing. I mean, the dehydrated vegetables. Here's a dehydrated onion that has dehydrated completely back to its form. Um, and the potatoes in here. Let's see if we can find some dehydrated potatoes. I didn't get any potatoes. I'm going to have to get me some potatoes in here. <laughs> but there's dehydrated potatoes, peas. I mean, y'all guys saw the ingredients. This is absolutely beautiful, guys. So that's it. That is Camo's. Okay, <laughs> catfish stew, man. This is I love catfish, and I love preparing it the different types of ways. And this is just one of those other ways, guys, in a crock pot that you can actually fix it, and it tastes amazing, guys. So try it out again. Another fall winter classic, guys, to keep you warm in that camper or keep you warm in that RV or warm in your home guys or shit warm in your bathroom when you're taking a crap you can be eating this <laughs> i'm just kidding don't do that that would be disgusting the just a disgusting thought really camo what we're we eating okay <laughs> but <laughs> oh, why are y'all plotting man this is not funny <laughs> but anyway guys that's it that's camo's okay catfish stew baby i appreciate y'all guys sticking through here again much love much respect guys i hope you like it i hope you try it if you do tell me how, you, how it turned out for you tell me how it tastes hey until next time guys we'll see you on the broccoli with catfish